Hey there guys, so today we have another review and this is a beer from Marty, thank you so much. And I believe his friend brewed a homebrew. Uh, so this is a homebrew review. And basically he had been bugging his friend to uh, brew a, a Julius clone. So he found a Julius clone. Uh, this beer is uh, specifically brewed exclu uh, exclusively with citra hops. And so yeah, uh, IPA. And his friend has apparently only brewed five batches. This is really cool though. though. So uh, really curious to dig in. And um, again, as a... Um, uh, if I got into homebrewing, I personally don't homebrew. That would be sort of my goal. Like That's sort of impossible goal, trying to brew something as good as Treehouse. But um, really curious what kind of beer they turn out because obviously uh, Marty and his friend have never had Treehouse. So uh, having had Treehouse yesterday, actually, I'm um, curious to see how this turns out. But uh, first off, beer comes in a very different color. Um, it's extremely murky. It almost looks, uh, what is it? Um, a little bit like dirty water. I don't know, something like that. It's not this kind of, uh, Julius does have a really... Uh, much more darker kind of um, uh, deep gold to pale amber kind of color to it. Uh, this one's much more dark than that, um, but it does have the haze going on. So really interesting. Let's get the room on this. Oh, wow. That does smell really awesome. Wow. Huge amounts of orange coming through. Um, just huge citrus bomb. Wow. Yeah, uh, tropical fruit. It's got a, lots of like a, a juicy mango thing, a little bit of passion fruit, peach going on. Tons of orange, orange peel. Uh, not necessarily uh, smelling any flaws yet. Yeah, I'm looking for them. Maybe a little bit of green apple. But yeah, cheers. Okay, yeah. I think... Trying to see if I taste that uh, acetaldehyde now. No, not really. Wow, that's a really good uh, homebrew. Jeez, that's a good. Um, 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 sorry, that's a really good um, cologne recipe. Pretty awesome. Big juiciness up front. Uh, nice creamy mouthfeel. Uh, soft carbonation. Dries on the palate really nicely. Um, a little bit of like um. Soft bitterness on the back end as well. It leans to a little bit earthy. It's arguably, yeah, it's definitely a little bit too uh, bitter for um, a treehouse beer. It, it actually um, sticks on the palate a little too long. Uh, not quite sure what, what that is, that it's uh, uh, bittering and sticking on the palate uh, so long, but. Julius also offers a little bit more juiciness, but this is a really big punch of juiciness up front. Tons of orange, um, leaning towards a little bit of like uh, lots of mango, a little bit of like papaya. A little bit of sweet pineapple going on, but then it turns a little bit and gets a little, um, maybe um, it, it's been uh, dry hopped for too long and it gets a little bit of that green matter going on. It really sticks on the tongue a little too long and just like kind of like cloys a little bit, but it's not that bad. I mean, uh, I'm fine with it. I'm sort of fine with it. Instead, you know, it, has, it does have a soft bitterness, but it does have a little bit of like, you know, green matter sticks on the tongue. Nice and creamy mouthfeel. Um, this is good. Wow. Um, maybe I was smelling something. Uh, something was up. Uh, I don't really taste it. So that's fantastic. Wow. If I had to give this a rating, geez. That's really close. Oh. Only thing is that that, that aftertaste, but the rest of it's really get it's really getting there. Like it's really on the right track of uh, road. You know. Yeah. Wow. Um, I'm torn. Maybe like something like a 95 or 96. That's awesome. Um, I can drink a lot of that. Let's go with something like a 97. I'm a big fan. That's dope. The appearance is a little funny. Uh, again, it doesn't really look like a homebrew or a, a, a treehouse beer, but that's really interesting. But yeah, this has got to be one of the best homebrews I've had. Um, I will say that that, bit, um, that um, cloying like green matter quality um, thing that's sticking on the tongue is a little bit distracting, so maybe I should pull this back to a 95. But other than that, it hits a lot of the targets and again, it's on the road to something as, as amazing as Julius and um, reminds me a lot of Julius in certain ways. So uh, until next time, guys, thanks a lot, Marty. Uh, your friend is definitely killing it. I mean, five batches and you're brewing something this close to Julius is absolutely surprising and incredible stuff. So until next time, guys, cheers. Later.